Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Board Game Heaven Talks Accessories. My name is Raymond, and in this video I'll be taking a look at the Laserox card holders for large and mini cards. And these are stackable card holders. I have one for four sets of cards and for two, and these are for three and two stacks of mini cards. So I'll show you how to put these together and how that works, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So here are the stackable card holders. I'll start with the large one with two slots, which is just one single sheet. Looks pretty easy and straightforward. A bottom, a back and three sides. So just uh, take your knife and carefully open up that plastic and then carefully take that out. There we go. There's a uh, small instruction leaflet here, which is pretty straightforward. And you can just uh, twist everything out. That should be very simple. I mean, it almost falls out by itself. So there you go. This one has a bit here and you can, if you want to use your knife, uh, just put these on the side and just cut through these uh, bits that are holding it on the sheet and then just push it out like so. See, there was a bit of uh, wood still attached and these can just be twisted. There's one piece here that I want to cut like so. All right. And then I should be able to just twist that out like so. All right, same here. And that's easy enough. So this is the bottom, uh, this is the back, and you need to have these uh, slots on the top. And then uh, these are, this is the center with the large slot in the middle because that slides in here. Let's see, so that like that. And the other two are uh, on the sides and you only attach those last because those go over these notches there. So you first put in the middle one and you can attach, uh, you know, use a bit of glue if you want to. Um, I think I'll, I'll do that. So I'll just take a little bit of wood glue and just carefully from the middle here, I'll just apply a few dots if there's still some wood glue in here. <laughs> There we go. Just a few little dabs on this side and perhaps on the bottom as well. Like so, just a bit. And then just slide that over. There you go. So now on the back, this is gonna sit against this and you can have the logo on the back or on the front if you want to. I'll put it on the back and that just basically sticks in here like so. So I will put a little bit of glue along the edge here. And if you want, you can use a hammer. I've got this laser ox hammer with the rubber heads soft rubber and a harder rubber head to just gently tap that on. Basically just attach. Now this will wobble a bit still, as you can see, uh, but as soon as you have the sides attached and then that will all be held snugly in place. So let's do that. that is held in place already. And as you can see, these have slots on the bottom and these nubs here on the top. So that will stack on top of each other. And the middle uh, slot here is for the bigger cards, the big card trays. And the smaller slot is if you want to put a smaller tray on top of that, which I will demonstrate after I've put them all together. Mm -hmm. 
Simple as that. A neat and clean wooden card tray for large cards. It will hold sleeved cards and it is stackable. So let me just build the other ones. I'll also show you how to put together a small one, but it's basically the same, it's just smaller. And then I'll uh, show you how they all combine and fit together. So this is the small card holder, same as before, comes with an instruction. Here it is, and everything is just twisted out. You can just push it out like so, or twist it out like so. Just be careful that you don't break anything off that and again just a five part assembly oh, there we go with a bottom and a back and two sides here and we're still together and the middle and there it is a small card tray for two stacks of mini cards so if I take the big one and the small one, as you can see, this will fit in there. So I can stack this on top of that, like so. Which is pretty cool. So you can just put them on the table or on top of each other. That's pretty nice. And that will fit in here on the side and in the back, as you can see. So that's really nice. I'll put together the other ones as well, the bigger ones, and show you uh, how to uh, set that up. So I've put them all together, as you can see here, and I took some random cards from some games I have with small and large sleeved cards. So here is a uh, large card tray with the Hero Realm cards, which are the large format cards and they are sleeved and they fit in here really nicely. There's a little bit of wiggle room and they fit in really well. And you have, of course, this uh, opening at the bottom so you can easily grab the cards and lift them up. And that works really well. And I've got some other cards. These are custom made cards, but uh, this is a less wide side uh, size of cards. And uh, these are laminated, but sleeved would work as well. And of course that fits too because they are less wide than this size type of card. And these are from uh, Swords and Sorcery. Um, cards, also mini kind of cards and they are sleeved in premium cards. And as you can see, that fits nicely. Uh, there's barely any wiggle room left, but uh, they do fit really easily. It doesn't uh, get caught or anything. So uh, Laser Rocks went with this type of card and these sleeves as a reference, uh, I guess, and then uh, made the other trays uh, to, you know, to become modular because everything fits together. You can fit these on top of these like so. As you can see, that will really fit nicely because of these notches here. Uh, so one sits on the side, one here and uh, this will latch on to uh, this, these slots in the bottom, of course, as you've seen. So you can just put this on top of that and that will sit nicely, but you can also put them in the middle. If you want it to be symmetrical, you can do that as well. So that's pretty cool. That works as well. Uh, but you can also, and this is something I really like, not just you know, stack these as well in a very similar fashion as the big ones. They just fit together like this, so that, that works really well. But you can also fit this on top of this, and that is just really clever. Now this goes in the middle, like so, so you can fit it together like that. Uh, I don't think, oh, actually, yes it does, it, it fits on the side as well fits on the side as well because these notches, um, as you can see, they are back. They don't go out to, uh, to this length. So they are behind the back, which means they sit behind this back as well. So uh, that's pretty cool. So that works as well. And from the back, you can see, I'll try to show you that without all the cards falling out. So you can see that these notches aren't really used 
when you put them on the side, just the middle one. But if you put them in the middle, then you use this and that uh, notch. So that works as well. So that's pretty cool. Make that symmetrical. And then of course you can put this on top of that. If you want to make a whole stack of cards or even put this here and put this here. So that works as well. That's pretty cool. The only thing you can't do is put two of these next to each other because they should, you know, they share a wall slot basically in the middle. So this, this sadly doesn't work. You can put either this one here or that one there, but you can then of course put this one on top of that. And you can put this one over here if you want to, like so. Or, of course, just put it on top, like that. So there's all kinds of ways you can stack uh, these modular card holders. And that's pretty cool. I think that's very clever. That you can just pick any tray that you need for the game you're going to play and just stack them any way you want and make a nice card tray uh, on the table and of course you can just pick them up and pass them around if somebody needs to draw a card across the table then you can of course just hand it so uh, yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with that let's uh, go to my final thoughts so my final thoughts on the Laserox card holders. Well, first of all, they were very simple to put together, quick to put together, only require a little bit of glue. And I love the fact that they can stack like this, that you can just take any combination you want and just put them on top of each other. You've got your big card holders and your small card holders. And at first I thought, you know, these can combine and these can combine, but I was happily surprised that these can also stack on top of the big ones. So that's really cool. So you can take any combination you want for your games and just combine them in any uh, combination that you need for that uh, particular game. And I like the fact that you can stack them, you know, in the middle to make it symmetrical or on the side uh, or just put them next to each other, of course, depending on how many you need. And you can stack two of these big ones on top of each other or more if you need that. And um, yeah, and, and I also, also like the fact that you can uh, use these uh, smaller ones on top of that too. Uh, the only thing you can do, of course, like I said, is put two of these next to each other, but you can, of course, just take multiple of these, of the double big ones, and then just put two of these next to each other, and then put this on top and just have this set twice, technically, if that's what you need. So uh, yeah, all in all, it's a very good and convenient product. It's made from uh, FSC labeled wood. So they do get their wood from S FSC sources. So that means that those forests that they cut for the wood get replanted. And uh, I like that uh, Laser Ox takes that into account. I think that's very important. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a cool product. I can certainly uh, recommend it, giving it two thumbs up. And I'd like to thank Laser Rocks for sending these over to review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please also give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Please also consider becoming a Patreon saint to my channel by checking out the Patreon page by clicking the link below this video or the Patreon icon at the end of this video. And there you can read how you can support me. You'll get access to some Patreon exclusive videos and your name in the credits of all of my videos as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.